Falls Bridge. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a little bit scary. Way out here. <laughs> Take two again. Take ten. I didn't Kneel press the record. In. So saying we this had a great night. Is, yes. It is much. Saturday, August is today the third? Fourth? Mm. What is today? Today is Saturday. August. Third? Mm. Fourth? Mm. What is today? <laughs> is it really? Okay. Anyway. Um, we were invited to go with House to House Ministries. No, I don't know what day it is. To do a porch ministry. I, re I really don't. Okay, confirmed. Saturday, August the 4th. Um, Would you do a pause it? Mm -hmm. So I could go check the calendar. So. so we were invited to go and do porch ministry with House to House Ministries. Mm -hmm. and uh, This was our first porch, porch ministry. It's kind of late. We're a little bit tired. We weren't, but we are now. Um, it was great. Yeah. So we have a few little clips to show you from tonight. We didn't uh, record a whole a whole lot of all of it because yeah, um, we're enjoying just the enjoying service. it it was great um got i can't to wait from, to do more we got to do a uh, a testimony to open the service before the speaker got up yeah she got to talk so and, did you uh, shh. you know when we're used to being in front of the camera it's a lot easier it's, when eyes aren't staring it's, at it's you. weird having I, i'm the microphone yeah but i want to talk about real fast just say that at the end there was a little girl and um she asked four or five for a prayer for her arm uh had palsy maybe cerebral palsy and she couldn't move it and it was stuck like it up. stuck up she and, couldn't um, open her hand she was prayed for and mm -hmm. she was able to move it and she was able to use it and uh, she was eating with it and she prayer, was moving she was her high hands and um she did the double high five. It was amazing. It was amazing. We didn't record that, but um, so anyway, let's show you. We're gonna show you some clips from tonight. Show you some some stuff. <laughs> Just praying about tonight, and you know, and thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Rick. You know, and allowing the gospel to come in the yard, and maybe you're listening from a distance, and maybe you're facing something. But we got good news. Jesus can set you free. Amen. Thank the Lord for all the churches here. Sam, God bless you. The Lighthouse, Lance, Grace Point, God bless y'all. I went to other churches and the Way Church and, you know, and uh, Arkansas and Christian Worship. Is that right? Yep. All right, Big Toe. But well, we're glad to be we're glad to be here tonight. I don't speak for everybody, but let's have a good time in the Lord. Amen. I had a good time in the Lord, and you know what? And uh, I just thank the Lord. And, you know, uh, I'm excited. You know, and we started praying when to come visit, and Rosie, the Lord heard a prayer and, and brought you a refrigerator. Yeah, cold baloney now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we don't, we don't, Sam, we don't. It's just amazing how the Lord works that way. How He provides the needs and stuff like that. It's amazing, you know. And I always think about something, Lance. You know, and when you read the book of Genesis, that voice in the garden, even though time changes, a lot of things happening all the way to New Testament. And I thought, wow, the Holy Spirit said that voice is still the same. Never changed. Amen. Same as yesterday, today, forever. No matter what you face, no matter what you go through, you know, and uh, never forget the day when you get saved, when Jesus saves you, finds you. I, I, I know we face a lot, go through a lot, but you know, Rosie, I still want to hear his voice. Amen. I want to still hear what he's got to say, you know. And uh, I'm so glad that, you know what, it's glad that it's, it's known a privilege to be here at Bell, uh, where I grew up, you know. And, um, and I, I tell you what, I driving through Bell, I just, I could just think about many stories, many stories, you know, mom and a lot of them, you know. Oscar and all them and back then, you know, and just uh, never thought I'd be evangelist one day coming back. And, but you know what? I, I love each one of y'all. You know, and 
know, and I'm, and I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we here, this, this, this true family right here, true family, brothers, sisters in Christ, we come together, you know, and uh, you know what, I'm excited to hear the word, and whatever you're led to do, this is open floor, whatever you're led to say or sing or, or testimony, you know, it's, I love hearing specials, and I love hearing testimonies too, we got to, we got to share what Jesus has been doing, Amen. you know, I want to share it with somebody, the good news, you know. But uh, I just thank the Lord, and if you see this coon dog's watch, y'all let him know. He's looking hard here. I don't know who said it, but that coon dog's got a watch on. I think I can't be. I hate to come around the corner, Lance, said it's time. It's yep. time. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Well, and it's amazing how the Lord works, Sam. He sent a coon dog around the corner with a watch. Time. Let's get started. <laughs> Let's get Lord if we can. Amen. Let's start with prayer. God bless the Father. We... Hey. In, in old Panama. I've not seen in some time. We stop by and ask me where I've been. What's on my mind? They wonder about something now, don't they? They wonder why I'm not drinking. The pain is old now red. What do you tell them? I tell them I'm serving Jesus now. And you will live And then church, praise God. We have been bound way too long. Amen. Amen. Our sister talked a minute ago and gave us the poem about the wall. Mm -hmm. The devil wants to bind you any way he can. Yes. He was alive. He walked, and I can see coming out of that dark grave and those grave clothes. They wrapped them with grave clothes. And and he he was bound. He was hobbling along, you know. But Jesus said, "Loose him and let him go." He brought him to life. Now he's going to set you free. He begins to unwrap. And he takes a little bit of hate out of you. He begins to unwrap some more and he takes out some jealousy. He begins to unwrap some more and he takes away some shyness. And he begins to unwrap some more. And then you have boldness to lift up your hand. And you're not ashamed to say, thank you, Jesus. In Walmart. You're not ashamed to say, thank you, Lord, wherever you're at, because you have the Lord in your heart. Loose him and let him go. Brother and sister, I believe it's time that God's people be loosed and be set free. My Bible tells me, whom said the Son of Man set free? He's what? He's free indeed. Amen. There's no binds on us. It looked like in Paul's day when he was on the island and the viper came up on his arm that he was going to die. But the Bible says he shook off the beast and felt no harm. You know why? They need to have revival there. And Paul was sent. Now he'd already got everybody on a ship saved. Amen? Amen? Everybody on the ship got saved already. And then he went to the island and revival broke out. And people begin to rejoice and healings and wondrous things of God begin to happen. My Bible tells me Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And in the Old Testament it says, I the Lord changed not. Why are we lagging behind him? Why are we not using these things that God has given us to use? Jesus himself said, These works shall you do, and greater works than these shall you do, for I go unto the Father. I'm talking to me. Hello? We are standing way behind where the Lord wants us to be. Services like this is what we need to have. Because we have, no matter how free our church might be, there are certain amount of traditions in it. Hello? There are. Mine, yours, everybody's. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to be out at 11 o'clock. We start at 9.30 so we can beat the Baptists to the restaurants to eat first. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we do start at 9.30. Everybody's welcome. We do that because we have people that go to work at, at Little Debbie and they don't understand that Sunday is a good day to worship the Lord. The only days that are good to worship the Lord in and why? Any other day, forget it. Y'all get that? Okay. Oh. God is good. Every day is a good day to worship the Lord.
<laughs> I thought you were gonna like say thanks for watching, and then I was gonna be like, I remembered always. Always. Okay. I can't do this. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep, Keep looking, looking up. up.